This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, and especially at the moment, I do hope you're well. Now then, I don't know about you, but uh, one thing that I've noticed I'm finding myself watching more of in my spare time at the moment which let's face it we all have a little bit more of that uh, than we uh, than we used to uh, i'm finding myself watching live gigs a lot more i don't know whether it's the the sensation of it making me feel uh, like part of an audience being kind of less isolated but um, it's certainly something i've noticed i'm doing so today's video is basically five brilliant live gigs that are worth watching whilst you've got this free time on your hands. So let's have a look at the first one. Gary Moore and Friends, One Night in Dublin. Yes, this was a tribute to the uh, late Phil Linet, or Phil Linet, however you want to say his name, uh, recorded in 2005 at the Point Theatre in Dublin. Like all of these gigs I'm going to talk about today, I've linked to clips uh, from the gigs in the description below. Uh, it was basically Gary Moore and his band um, featuring guest appearances from various members of Thin Lizzy. Um, Brian Downey was playing drums throughout the gig and, you know, on comes Brian Robertson and plays a couple of numbers. On comes Scott Gorham and plays a couple of numbers. On comes Eric Bell and plays a couple of numbers, of course, including Whiskey in the Jar. Um... There's just an atmosphere to this gig, uh, that, you know, it, it, that's got nothing to do with the track listing or the running order. You can tell that everybody in that room is having the time of their life. Um, I mean, highlights from this for me would be the absolutely barnstorming version of, uh, Black Rose, which is one of the clips that I've linked to down below. And, you know, just, Watch the audience in this gig. There's there's lots of shots of the audience. And, you know, if I worked 100 hours a week for the next month, I still reckon I'd be uh, quite a way behind the theatre's bar takings for that night. It was a good night, uh, was ha being had by all, it seems, for that gig. Yeah, so Gary Moore and Friends, One Night in Dublin. Check it out. Next. Bruce Springsteen and the Sega Sessions Band. Yes, indeed. Now, I know that Bruce can be a little bit divisive. Some people love him, like me. Some people just don't. But forget everything, forget any prejudices you might have about Bruce Springsteen and his music. This is entirely different from anything else he's ever done. Basically, it's an album. It's all, it's like an unplugged album, basically, but not in the sedate everybody sitting around in a circle, MTV unplugged kind of manner. This is an absolute foot-stomping, barnstorming performance of gospel, folk and blues music. I mean, tracks that uh, included uh, like John Henry, Jacob's Ladder, Pay Me My Money Down, all old um, jug band music, basically. It's as I said, unplugged, so it's all acoustic instruments with a horn section. Uh, and the best version of this gig really isn't the official DVD. That's good, but the best version of it, if you can find it on YouTube, and I think this is uh, one of the clips that I've linked to, is a version recorded for the BBC in 2006 at, I think, St. Luke's in London. Fantastic gig. And again, another one of these where you can tell everybody in the room, the musicians on stage and the audience who are, um, well, I was going to say watching, but the audience are participating. Everybody in that room is absolutely having the time of their lives. And that, if this isn't too sensitive a word at the moment, is infectious. Next. Dire Straits, Alchemy Live. Yes, indeed. This is essentially um, a live best of album by Dire Straits. And it was recorded uh, before Dire Straits had gone into the studio to record uh, the Brothers in Arms album. So there's no material from that album. Good. Um, there's no extravagant light show or back back projections or backdrop not that there's anything wrong with that as we'll see shortly in another choice it's just a bunch of musicians on stage playing absolutely sublimely 
um, at the top of their game, playing all of the, the great Dire Straits classics. I mean, Telegraph Road, Sultans of Swing, Romeo and Juliet, you know, all of the, all of the best of their stuff, really. And, you know, frankly, the definitive versions of it in a, in a lot of cases. Um, you must have seen this gig by now, I'm sure. Um, if you've, you know, unless you've been living on Mars or somewhere. Uh, but just in case you haven't, check it out. It's a fantastic gig. And again, it's another one of these where the, the audience are as much a part of the entertainment as the band on stage because they're providing the atmosphere and the, just the overall feel good factor, uh, that you get from watching it. So yeah, Alchemy, Dire Straits, check it out. Pink Floyd, Pulse. Yep, this I think is the best Pink Floyd live experience. Um, you know, live at Pompeii, yeah, well, that's okay, but what happens if you want to hear some material from the wall? You know, and then I guess you've got the delicate sound of thunder, which was the live album recorded on the tour for, um, what was the album? A momentary lapse of reason. Uh, this one, Pulse, is the live album recorded from the Division Bell tour, and I just think the Division Bell is a far better album than Momentary Lapse of Reason. Um, so obviously any kind of tour, any, any set list for a tour is going to include, you know, a fair amount of material from the new album at the time. And I just think, as I say, Division Bell, the material on that album is better than the material on Momentary Lapse of Reason. Uh, you get, of course, I'm sure if you've seen this gig, you'll know, and the entire, uh, Dark Side of the Moon album performed absolutely stunningly, superbly well. Uh, and you get all of the, um, all of the usual stuff that you would expect. So that includes like material from the then new album, Division Bell, plus all of the hits, you know, Another Brick in the Wall, Run Like Hell. Uh, I think they even dust off, uh, Astronomy Domine for the, for this gig. Um, I can't remember if that's on the DVD or if it's just on the live CD. Um, I can't remember, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a best of Pink Floyd album and, um, all of the songs are suffused with that energy and urgency that playing your material in front of a live audience lends to any song. And, you know, once again, the audience, the atmosphere created, the, the way that the the, uh, the band and the audience interact is part of the whole experience. Fantastic gig. It's well worth uh, a couple of hours of your time. So check it out. Next. Carl Perkins and Friends, Blue Suede Shoes. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm, you're probably getting sick of me mentioning this gig, but it's I couldn't do... Um, a video about great live gigs and, and not mention this one. In case you've not heard of this, this is, uh, Carl Perkins, uh, of, you know, Blue Suede Shoes fame. And he's fronting Dave Edmonds band in a TV studio in front of a, a small audience. And there are cameo appearances from Ringo Starr, from George Harrison, from Eric Clapton, and from Roseanne Cash, plus a bunch of others who never actually um, come forward and, and take the limelight themselves. But you can see there's a couple of guys from the Stray Cats there, and a, a bunch of other people. Earl Slick, you get you kind of get a few shots of him in there. Fantastic, fantastic live gig. Um, it's, I think, one of Clapton's best performances from the 80s. And it's just everyone's clearly having a fantastic time. Nobody's there for their appearance fee. You know, and in fact, I'm not even sure um, there were any fees involved with this. I think it was just people turning up to, to pay tribute to, you know, a, a rockabilly legend like Carl Perkins. By the end of the gig... The, the audience are dancing in the aisles and Carl Perkins himself is absolutely choked with emotion at not only the reaction of, of the audience, many of whom at the time, this gig was from the, the mid eighties and many of the audience were, were probably, you know, in their twenties. So they, they weren't around for, you know, when Carl Perkins was originally releasing his old son, uh, studio music. You know, so that he, he's visibly choked by the reaction of a, of a predominantly young audience. And just the fact that, you know, he's got people like Eric Clapton and George Harrison, you know, turning up to play for him and play at the top of their game and the best of their abilities. You know, it's a fantastically emotional gig. It's, it's a f brilliant feel good factor. If you've never seen it, check it out. It really is, uh, worth, worth the effort. 
So those are the five gigs that um, I've been turning to a lot in, in recent weeks. Um, I hope you found something there that you can find to while away um, a, a, a long evening while um, you're stuck indoors. And uh, hopefully you get something from this. So that's pretty much it for today, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the video, found it useful and informative and maybe a little bit entertaining as well. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, I'll just mention as well the Fret Zealot giveaway. Um, I'm sure you know all about this. The Fret Zealot Tuition Aid. Two of my courses are available on the Fret Zealot app at the moment. Play lead guitar the easy way and making the modes easy. And to celebrate that fact, we're giving away a free Fret Zealot. All you've got to do to be in with a chance of winning it is make a donation of £5 or more to Zoe's Place, Baby Hospice, a charity in Middlesbrough which provides palliative, respite and end-of-life care to children under five with terminal illnesses. Make your donation, screenshot the receipt, send it to me. There's the email address. It's also in the uh, description below and you will be entered into the draw, which will be getting uh, drawn on the 7th of May. I will announce the winner or soon thereafter and uh, that lucky person will get a free fret zealot. And if you're not uh, the lucky winner, never fear, you can get one a little bit cheaper down to me. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, there's the discount code on screen there. Use the link in the description and that discount code. You'll get a, a, a fret zealot a little bit cheaper. And with that, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Stay well, stay safe, guys, and I'll see you next time around. Bye for now.